Hey guys, this is Sex and Shadow. Um, now, recently, uh, you might have heard about this new bill that's being passed in the U.S. Uh, I think it's the Senate. Um, it's called Bill S.978. Now, uh, if you're unfamiliar with this bill, pretty much what it says is, actually I have it up right here, um, that any you shall be imprisoned for up to five years if you, um, if you uh, offend ten... It's kind of confusingly worded, and that's sort of the problem with it, but it says, If an offense consists of ten or more public performances by electronic means during any 180-day period of one or more copyrighted works, and the total retail value of the performances, or the total economic value of such public performances to the infringer or to the copyright owner would exceed $2,500, or the total fair market value of the licenses to offer performance of those works would exceed $5,000. Um, now, uh, this bill was pretty much passed to avoid, to help stop the streaming of stuff on the internet. And now, this is mostly targeted at things like movies, music, and TV shows. And, to be fair, for that purpose, yes, it makes sense. Uh, posting up, uh... Uh, album tracks of a new CD is illegal. You don't have permission to do that. And especially if you're making money off of it due to revenue sharing on YouTube. Same thing going with movies and TV shows and such. Uh, now, the problem with this is that video games is sort of a different matter. That At least people think it's a different matter. Um, you see, uh, because of the vague wording of this uh, bill, uh, video games fall into this category. It just says copyrighted works, and yes, video games are copyrighted. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, because LPing is such a popular thing to do, a lot of people are worried that they're gonna be thrown into jail for up to five years because they post LP videos of games. Now, guys, I don't think you're looking too clearly into this, and I can't blame you, it's a very confusingly worded document. Uh, but I'm going to set some things to rest. First off, in order for you to actually break this law, you need to make money from these videos. Uh, you have to make up to $2,500 from these videos, and I think it's just from one game, actually. It's Again, it's confusingly worded, I'm not sure. But what I am sure of is that you have to make money. If you are a small-time LP, -er, or even like someone like Brain Scratch Coms, or some call me Johnny or Clement, where you're popular but you don't make money off of this, you're fine. You're not breaking this law as long as you are not getting paid. So, unfortunately, that means that if the revenue sharing option comes up, you have to decline, which sucks. But, you know, for the average LP or for the majority of people, this does not bother you. And besides, the bill hasn't even been passed yet. There's a good chance that it'll get shot down. But if it does get passed, you're fine. Relax. The only people who really have to worry about this are the big guys, you know, Chuck Conroy, NCS, those guys, because, you know, they actually get paid for this. And is it right for this bill to pass? Uh, I'm not sure, you know, I'm not a lawyer. But I'm just here to set some things to rest. You don't have to worry about it as long as you don't get paid. Now, if you do have a problem with this, I would recommend... Uh, Looking up who's supporting this bill, you know, does your senator support this bill? And if he or she does, send them an email, call them, tell them why you don't support this. Also, if you're going to do this, please be polite. If you're rude, it's not going to help a lot. But if you want to combat this bill, uh, call your senator, call the people running the bill. Uh, but for the most part, everyone's going to be fine. You can relax. Uh, but yeah, that's all pretty much I had to say. Um, okay, yeah. This has been X and Shadow, and I'll see you guys later.